is all races. Hundreds of women hit the pavement in Dallas and Fort Worth all to send a message. Welcome to News 8 at 10 this Sunday. I'm Marie Saavedra. For three years in a row now, women have marched across the country, but the movement, like the politics around it, is changing. David Goins takes a closer look. Women united will never be divided. With so many voices. America isn't everybody's safe place yet. All the hate has got to go. There is a lot to talk about. Uh, right now, I'm really concerned about the government shutdown. More than 1,000 people took to downtown Dallas Street Sunday, walking, chanting for equality. I think the tone is different. State Representative Retta Andrews Bowers helped coordinate this third Dallas Women's March, which started days after the election of President Trump in 2017. People don't seem to be as angry. That's what I'm really noticing. Bauer says the political landscape in Washington and at the state capitol in Austin has changed with more representation of women. But she says major issues remain, like protecting reproductive rights and pay. If asking for equal pay for equal work is controversial, then let it be controversial. And hopefully there comes a day where we don't have to do this. But even in a march to show solidarity for gender and racial equality and women's rights, there isn't total uniformity. Nationally this weekend, cities like D.C. and New York hosted separate women's marches, showing that voices within the movement don't appear on the same page. The division has led to a lot of confusion. Dallas hosted two rallies this weekend, too, but organizers today insist marchers in North Texas are not divided. Uh, we have to stick together. We're going to continue to stay united. Just the fact that people are coming out at all is great, so the more days, the better. <laughs> organizers believe and plan to continue marching in Dallas and be at City Hall again in 2020. I think that people realize that their voices are being heard, but they still realize that there's more work to do. David Goins, Channel 8 News. A women's march was also held in downtown Fort Worth. Many women there bringing their daughters along to participate.